Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter number five, man. We are getting deeper into this series. We're past the halfway point now. Kind of sad. Not gonna lie, when we first started this series, I my expectations weren't high, you know. Um, but now that we've watched the first four movies, I've kind of fell in love with it. You, you've you been yeah. really enjoying it too, huh? It, it's just, so good. They get better and better. I know. That's what everyone says too, you know. Like, I don't know. For me though, so far still, I will say my favorite one is... The third one. The third one, Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. My boy. Serious. <laughs> I'll see you in there. I hope you come back real soon, brother. I miss you. <laughs> you were in the last movie, but not really. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, man. A lot of you guys have told me this is your favorite, man. It seems like... For for this movie series, a lot of people have different favorite movies as well as even fav different favorite books. So, you know, I just feel like it's a consistently good series overall, which, you know, it, it's enjoyable. I've enjoyed every single movie we've watched so far. There hasn't been a, you know, a movie that I've been like, damn, I kind of wish we didn't watch that so far, you know. So I'm excited for this one, guys. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie before we do what we do. I said, if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for us. Full reaction is up on Patreon as well as early access to other stuff that we're doing movies tv shows etc go check it out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie you think this is gonna involve uh dumbledore's phoenix again like in the second one imagine um, dang so um what's his name voldemort voldemort he's back huh that boy bald and ugly in his full form looking like a baby alien Harry, mm -hmm. looking old. Misses his mom, probably, huh? Moaning in your sleep every night. At least I'm not afraid of my pillow. <laughs> That's his cousin. His cousin look old as shit. Doesn't even look like him. I sure does. <laughs> <laughs> they think he's joking, but he ain't. What's going on? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Oh shit, maybe it's on him. Bro, you know that big boy ain't keeping up with Harry. No chance. <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Is that a Dementor? Really? They do look different, but they're doing the same shit that the Dementors were doing. Yeah, it is a Dementor. Harry, Harry's strong as shit, man. We forget. I forget. <laughs> Fuck him, leave him, Harry. Mrs. Fig. Don't put away your wand, Harry. They might come back. I don't understand. How do you know about- Dumbledore asked me to keep an eye on you. Dumbledore? You know Dumbledore? Mm -hmm. How do you know What's who wrong with me? killed that poor Diggory boy last year? Did you expect him to let you go wandering around on your own? Good lord, boy. They told me you were intelligent. He got all that- his happiness sucked out of him, probably. That's what they do. They suck the happiness out of you and just leave bad memories. Probably what happened. Maybe he got all his happy memories sucked out. He probably don't have many happy memories. Dude was complaining about fucking getting 38 birthday gifts instead of 39 or something like that. Who did this to you, boy? Really? You happy, a bitch. Now? Hey? You've finally done it. You've finally driven him loopy. You performed the Patronus charm in the presence of a muggle. As a clear violation of the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery, you are hereby expelled from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Bro, they're not even asked for an explanation. What are she wearing? I was gonna say, put some clothes on. It look cold as fuck. <laughs> he probably feels responsible, low key. Imagine if Harry would have just grabbed the trophy instead of saying, let's grab it at the same time. Cedric probably still would have been alive, low-key. Hagrid? 
trunks for God's sake. Who is that? What the? Oh, oh, Moody. Is this the real Moody? It's Moody. What are you doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Don't call me Nymphadora. You see how her hair turned colors? Did it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Are they covered up like they were on the bus or no? Because if not, I feel like people would for sure see that. So when, shouldn't the Ministry of Magic know that when you perform that spell, it's because there's a Dementor around though? Isn't like that the only reason for that spell to be performed? Is that serious, Matt? Is it? stronger by the minute. We have to act now. Yeah. Straight upstairs. First door on the left. Yeah. Damn, there must be some sh serious shit going around. Pause. Oh, dang. She made no that pun intended. Face of... Like, she was like, like, like shit is about to happen, huh? Mm -hmm. Dude, look like a mini Voldemort. Serious shit happening if Sirius Black is there. Harry. <laughs> Maybe just because he's back. Are you all right? Because Voldemort. We've heard them talking about the Dementor attack. You must tell us everything. The Order of the Phoenix. It's a secret society. Dumbledore formed it back when they first fought. You know who? You couldn't put any of this in a letter, I suppose. Gone all summer without a scrap of news. Only Dumbledore made us swear not to tell you anything. But why would he want to keep me in the dark? I mean, maybe I could help. After all, I'm, I'm the one who saw Voldemort return. I'm the one who fought him. I'm the one who saw Cedric Diggory get killed. Harry Potter. <gasps> Lupin! Serious. <laughs> oh. Fudge is using all his power including his influence at the Daily Prophet, to smear anyone who claims the Dark Lord has returned. Why? The minister thinks Dumbledore's after his job. But that's insane. No one in their right mind could believe that Dumbledore... Exactly the point. Fudge isn't in his right mind. He's been twisted and warped by fear. Voldemort may be after Cedric. Serious. Something he didn't have last time. What weapon could it be, though? First, I was going to say maybe the Sorcerer's Stone, but... They already did that in the first movie, so I don't think they're going to bring that back. I don't see... Man, people really believe they're faking that. Why would they fake Voldemort coming back? And then who would have killed Cedric? Do they think Harry killed him? Probably. Ain't that some shit. Maybe the weapon he's trying to get is a phoenix. Name of the movie, Order of the Phoenix. Mm. Oh, this bitch. Oh, I hope Harry kills him at some point. You, you got our message that the time and place of the hearing had been changed, did you? I must have missed it. But by a happy mistake, I arrived at the ministry three hours early. They tried to finesse him can produce no witnesses of the event. Pardon me, Minister. Yes. But as it happens, we can. His cousin. Mm. Oh, that old lady. Oh, yes. Yeah. Please describe the attack. Dementors are, after all, under the control of the Ministry of Magic. It's so silly of me, but it sounded for a moment as though you were suggesting that the Ministry had ordered the attack on this boy. That would be disturbing indeed, Madam Undersecretary, which is why I'm sure the Ministry will be mounting a full-scale inquiry into why the two Dementors were so very far from Azkaban. Voldemort. <laughs> They're only raising their hand because he did, Those man. Those in favor of clearing the accused of all charges. Everybody raise your hands. Yes, sir. I fuck with all y'all. Cleared of all charges? Yeah. That's what you get, you bitch. I bet you he's Professor. working for Voldemort. Is Dumbledore mad at him or what? Why he dip out like that? Neville's parents. They suffered a fate worse than death last night. Mom and Dad. Oh, Serious. the 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 rat is in there too. Do you really think there's going to be a war, Sirius? It feels like it did before. So, Voldemort killed Neville's parents too. The dude, the nerdy dude that's into herbology from last movie, you remember? They killed his parents too, I guess. Oh, damn. He said they suffered a worse fate than death. Oh. 
Voldemort. Look at him in a suit. He looked like Slender Man, bro. Doesn't he? Um, dead. He don't, don't he? <laughs> Voldemort, you an ugly bitch. I fuck you up. I'm just kidding. Please don't come for me. What is that? I thought it was eagles. Huh? I thought it was eagles. The buck beak. Buck beak. Mm -hmm. Oh, that pulling the carriage. Pleased to welcome back Professor Grubbly Plank. We'll be taking care of magical creatures while Professor Hagrid is on temporary leave. Wish to welcome our new defense against the dark arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. She was in the trial. So Hagrid's on leave? Why is he on leave though? I hope he's still in this movie. What can be perfected and prune practices that ought to be prohibited. <laughs> Don't like her already. Get her the fuck out of here. And she's the dark arts teacher, so you know it's gonna go bad. What's it mean? But magic is forbidden in the corridor. It means the ministry's interfering at Hogwarts. I don't know if Fudge is working for Voldemort or if he's just scared of him, but so he, that dude is definitely corrupt or fucked up. Plotter. <laughs> Fuck all you guys. Y'all are all some bitches. I guess you should read the prophet then, like your stupid mother. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Don't you dare talk about my mother like that. I'll have a go at anyone that calls me a liar. What's going on? He's mad as what's going on. Do you believe the rubbish he's come out with about you know who? Yeah, I do. Has anyone else got a problem with Harry? Fuck that shit, Ron! I fuck with you. I, I forgive you for last movie. You was acting like a bitch, but you here. Hey, I'll come through. We'll see. I said I'm fine, Ron! Alright, Harry. Now you acting like a bitch. You think it's the snake again? Oh, look at his fingernails. What is he saying? What was that a door to? You have been told that a certain dark wizard is at large once again. This is a lie. It's not a lie. I saw him. I fought Detention, him. Detention, Mr. Potter. So according to you, Cedric Diggory dropped dead of his own accord. Cedric Diggory's death was a tragic accident. It was murder. Voldemort killed him. You must know that. Enough! Fucking hater, man. Honestly, bro. Shit. Why do people try and hide it? Like, come on. Y'all need to beat this bitch. Hey. She did that to him. Harry, you've got to report this. It's perfectly simple. You're no, being... it's not. Hermione, whatever this is, it's not simple. And they want to help you, Harry. They got to work together if they're going to... Beat this bitch. But why can't the others see them? They can only be seen by people who've seen death. Well, if I were you know who, I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. Because if it's just you alone, you're not as much of a threat. Some good advice. It's true. You gotta have a team, Harry. <laughs> I love Snake. <laughs> Bitch is always smiling too, man. No music. Proper dress. I bet you, um, Fudge is making her do that shit. I feel like she's not actually like like corrupt. I feel like Fudge is making her do it. Actually, I can. Dumbledore, bring that ass out here, boy. Professor McGonagall, might I ask you to escort Sybil back inside? You have the right to dismiss my teacher. We do not, however, have the authority to banish him from the ground. That power remains with the headmaster. Why isn't he talking to Harry, though? I know he said he didn't want to get Harry involved. But what? Well, that's exactly what he thinks. That Dumbledore is assembling his own forces to take on the Ministry. But things aren't going at all well with the Order. Fudge is blocking the truth at every turn, and these disappearances 
just how it started before. They changed it. Last movie, his face was more in the fire. Now it looks like it's in the flame. You can kind of see Voldemort's face in the rain there. Rat. Imagine that's that bitch, Peter. Facing this stuff in real life is not like school. In school, if you make a mistake, you can just try again tomorrow. But out there, when you're a second away from being murdered or watching a friend die right before your eyes, you don't know what that's like. Because we're going to have any chance of beating Voldemort. Yeah, she said it. <laughs> Dumbledore's army. <laughs> Which way are you going, long bottom? Fuck you. <laughs> I'll say it for him. Chamber of Secrets 2.0. Don't go in there, Neville. Come on. The room requirement only appears when a person has real need of it, and is always equipped for the seeker's need. Hmm. <laughs> She fucked him up. She didn't even move like the other dude did. He blasted backwards. Is that Ron's little sister? Harry Loki do look like a teacher. Hey, he got it. I see you, Neville. Well done. Look at what they created, man. See you in the common room, Harry. I really thought Harry and Hermione might end up together. I thought it was gonna be him and uh, Ron's sister at first. I thought you were gonna say him and Ron. <laughs> like I did. <laughs> that was so funny. I think Ron's sister is a little too young for him, though. She's like, what, three years younger? Imagine he opens his eyes, he sees himself kissing Voldemort. <laughs> what is this room, man? This is like upgraded version of the Chamber of Secrets. That's what it looks like. It's a snake I'm for sorry. real. Voldemort may be after something. His dad. Oh no. Is the snake attacking it? I think he killed his dad. In the dream, were you standing next to the victim? Or looking down at the scene? Neither. I, it was like I... Professor, will you please just tell me what's happening? Everard. Look at me! What's happening to me? It appears that there is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own. Whether he is as yet aware of this connection is for the moment unclear. Pray he remains ignorant. In the past, it was often the Dark Lord's pleasure to invade the minds of his victims, creating visions designed to torture them into madness. Used properly, the power of our clemency will help shield you from access or influence. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Harry's scared. I'd be scared too. Snape's a scary mofo. Snape is a really good teacher and just smart as fuck all around, I think, to be honest. I got, I, I don't know. After the first movie, I've, I've liked Snape since then. Daddy's back. <laughs> he didn't die. Okay, good. Why? The world isn't split into good people and death eaters. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. Fuck that shit, serious. When all this is over, we'll be a proper family. We'll see. But I feel like that's I not gonna happen. Die. I was just thinking that too. Like if Sirius yeah, dies. There's gonna be some big battle, obviously. I don't know if it's in this movie or like at the climax of this series, but I hope Sirius doesn't die. I hope 
you know, it's a, a happy ending. Fuck, I, I, I feel bad even saying that. Like, that, I just know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know he's back, because that boy cooking. You see that smoke coming? <laughs> if I were you, I shouldn't get too used to being back. In fact, I might not bother unpacking at all. She fucked him up in the face, probably, huh? Like she did Harry. Because his face looked fucked up. Dumbledore sent me to parley with the giants. Giants? I wasn't the only one that was trying to win them over. Death Aces? Yes. Trying to persuade them to join you know who. Is this a flashback or current? Who is that? Is that Azkaban? That's Azkaban. He's breaking people out. What the fuck? What I'm really trying to say is that I believe you. Too late, you bitch. You're dead. She tortured them for information, but they never gave in. I'm quite proud to be their son. That's why he didn't like the spell last movie when he was torturing the bug. Mm -hmm. Are they trying to break in the door, huh? Is it the giants, maybe? You think? Or you think somebody's trying to break the door down? Oh, God. They're breaking the door. Yeah. Look at all those bitches. Fuck you, Malfoy. What'd they do to her? No. They tortured her? You seem to be laboring under the delusion that I'm going to... What was the phrase? Come quietly. Oh. Well, I can tell you this. I have no intention of going to Azkaban. Dumbledore, you powerful. Let me see what you got, baby. Well, I'll be damned. Motherfucker disappeared. Dumbledore's got style. <laughs> hey, that was, he went out in style, man. This dude fucking grabbed his phoenix oh and peaced out. Oh, she's had a Hogwarts. Not permitted to be within eight inches of each other. Hagrid, Hagrid, you're a giant. You cannot hide. I couldn't just leave him because because he's my brother. Blimey. That's his brother. Half brother, really. Half. He's completely harmless, just like I said. Your father was a swag. Potato! Is that a young Snape? Oh my god. Come on, Looney. Snape! Spelliarmus. Nice one, James. Oh, his dad bullied him. That's crazy. I would have never thought. I thought Snape would, was a badass his whole life. His dad really bullied bullied him, you know. That's that. Remember at the start when first movie, he kind of seemed like he hated Harry. Mm. That's crazy, man. Like, oh, I would have never thought. It. I would have never thought Snape would be bullied. Said <laughs> <laughs> so, fuck him. They don't give a fuck, man. Bro, don't. Sirius. What if Voldemort meant for you to see this? Hmm. If he's only hurting Sirius because he's trying to get to you. Time to band together. Dumbledore's army. He's got Padfoot at the place where it's hidden. Padfoot? What is Padfoot? Where what is hidden? What is he talking about, Snape? No idea. <laughs> the Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. That's illegal. But Cornelius doesn't know, won't hurt him. He's, she's using one of the forbidden curses. She can't do that. The giant's coming. <laughs> Take that for your order, bitch. 
Beat it like a pinata. I hope Sirius doesn't die this movie, man. Y'all already gave me one scare in fucking Prisoner of Azkaban. Imagine it was a ploy and they're not even here. They're somewhere else. Of course. I knew we were gonna see this bitch. But the Dark Lord wanted you to see. Now, that's a nice little plan. I don't think it's gonna work too good. That looked like it was some powerful shit. Don't tell me somebody's gonna die. Oh shit! Where did they just fall to? Oh my god. Okay, they did. Thought it was Dementors for a sec. Dumbledore? Get away from my godson. Oh, yes! Serious! Oh, ho, ho, we coming in with the good guys now, baby! Let me see what we got. Lupin, you in there? Oh, yeah, Moody Lupin. Oh, the Calvary! Oh, look at that. Godson and Godfather, man. Kill him now. Please don't let him live. No. What? No. Bro. What? 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 Stop. No. Bro, no. What? Do it. <laughs> oh, shit. You to come here tonight, Tom. The orders are on their way. Oh, shit. Dumbledore versus Voldemort? What the fuck? Ooh. Oh my god, a serpent of fire. Bitch, that's the devil. Oh my god, dude. Look at this fucking fight. Oh, what the fuck did he just do? Did he like absorb his power? Harry, do something. He's gonna kill him. Harry! Harry! He just did. Now, now, the place is destroyed. And they're gonna see it's Dumbledore. Son of a bitch! You are the weak one. And you'll never know love. Or friendship. They see he's back. You bitch. Fuck you. Oh my god, he's part of the reason half this shit happened. Damn straight he reinstated. Bring Dumbledore back. You know what, babe? We didn't see a dead body. So I'm not saying Sirius is dead, okay? I'm not. We didn't see a body. After all these years, after all you've suffered. Cause you any more pain. I care too much about you. Fuck, man. Sirius really is gone, then, huh? I'm kind of pissed. Like, dude was one of my favorite characters, and dude was only around for three movies. Not even didn't even really count the last one, so two. But even though we've got a fight ahead of us, we've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Yeah. Something worth fighting for. I mean, Voldemort's fighting for his life, so he kind of does have something to fight for, Harry, but you're being optimistic, buddy. I give it to you. Son of a bitch. All right. Harry Potter.
The Order of the Phoenix. Officially ranks as my most hated Harry Potter movie so far. <laughs> you look so sad, babe. I'm just kidding about that, by the way. I'm... S <laughs> Question of the movie, is Sirius actually dead? Is Sirius seriously dead? I think so. Like, you could tell even when the movie starts. Because, like, you know when they're going to kill somebody. They make it so obvious. You thought that from the start, really? Babe, when I told you, when I told you, I think he's gonna die. Yeah, but that's just kind of a shot in the dark, like how I be taking shots in the dark, like how before I said about the Hermione like thing. Like with other movies, like you can tell, like they're gonna kill that person, you know? Like I know you know, because we always do say that and then it does happen. Well, but so, I, like, that's kind of how it felt like. I don't know, to me it didn't feel like that in this, like. Especially them, the vision that he had, like, it was, like, them telling him. But well, he had the so, same vision with Ron's dad, you know? But I guess he was the snake in that vision. It's just... No, no, no. Fuck! They really killed him, man. It's just, like, I... I liked his character, for one. For two, I wanted to see him fuck some shit up. And for three... I wanted Harry to actually have some family, man. Like, I know he's got his friends. He's got Dumbledore. He's got Ron's family. But I wanted him to have some real family that actually oh, loves him and that he loves, you know? And I know he's his godfather, so technically he's not his actual bloodline family, but I I'm just sad, man. Like, I was really hoping by the end of the these movies, like, I think there's what? How many is there? Seven? Something like that. I was really hoping by the end, you know, it would be Harry and him living out their life together you know I, I don't know I, I was really hoping they would get that ha have that life together like they were kind of describing in um the prisoner of Azkaban you know like I'm really disappointed we didn't even see Lupin well I guess we didn't really see Lupin or Moody do a ton in this movie but I mean I guess they were kind of not the main characters you know I guess it is kind of to focus on the younger generation like he was saying you know but it was dope to see the cavalry come at the end there when uh when he came uh, when all of them came, Moody, yes. Lupin, all of them, man, it was super dope. Sirius and yeah. Sirius and Harry fighting together, mm -hmm. and then Dumbledore coming back fighting with fucking Voldemort, oh, yeah. man. That, oh my that, god, that was so that, good. That's that a fucking so, matchup. I, 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 I that's never something thought. I thought we would see like in the very last movie. You know what I mean? But I guess very last movie is probably gonna be Harry and Voldemort. You know, because that's kind of what they're building up. But Dumbledore and Voldemort, like. They're equally matched, it seems like. Like, Dumbledore is strong as shit. Like, dude's an old man, and he don't really be showing it off, but goddamn, homeboy know, know a couple spells. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had that boy in that water trap look like he was waterbending, man. I thought he was hanging for a second, looking like an avatar. Shit. Oh, man. I love the movie. It was great. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of good action scenes in it. Um, Again, the movie went really quick. Two and a half hour movie. It didn't seem like we were here for two and a half hours, but I am hot as shit right now. I'm sweating. I'm upset. I don't think we're. I don't think we're gonna see uh, Sirius not again, which which kind of sucks. Maybe we'll see him in a vision, or you know, a spirit somehow. I, I but I don't know. I'm doubtful. I'm doubtful for that man. But what do you think about the movie? So what that? What was that thing he went through? Like what was that? I can't. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to, because I don't know if they explained it or not, but only Harry and her could see it and hear the voices from it. And those are the only two people that have seen death. So maybe it was like his spirit going into that. You know what I mean? And maybe the no, voices he's hearing. his whole body, you know? Like, yeah, he, but it kind of like went up like a well, mist yeah, almost, yeah. you know? Maybe maybe that mirror, you hear the voices of the people you that have died. I don't know. I'm not 100%. You guys will have to explain it in the comments. If we missed it, we do apologize. But I'm not 100% sure. Maybe they didn't explain it in the movie, but they did in the books. But I don't know, man. I, I'm not exactly sure what that was. I, I, I'm pretty sure that was just his death scene, you know, how they did it. Rather than just having his body be there on the ground. So that they could have Harry chase that other person, you know. I was hoping he would kill her, but I get, you know, fighting the good and evil within you. And if he would have killed her, it's like he would be given in to Voldemort, you know. But I, I like this movie a lot. I would honestly probably rank this probably third favorite. Like, if he didn't die, this would have been, like, the best movie. Really? Yes. You, you would have liked this more than Ask, Prisoner Azkaban? Yes. 
Damn. But if he okay. didn't, but since he died, I'm like, eh. So what would you rank it then, since he died? Six. Six? We haven't watched six! This uh, is the fifth no. movie. Oh, like you thought I meant like out of ten? Like, out of ten. No, yeah. I'm talking about out of the Harry Potter movies, oh. babe. What you mean? Like, where would you rank it out of the ones we've watched so far? Like, for me, this is probably my third um, favorite. Probably. Probably the third one. Yeah. I, I don't know, because for me, my favorite was um, Prisoner of Azkaban, and then Goblet of Fire, and then this, and then, I guess, two and one. You know, that's kind of my, my thing. Because I liked Goblet of Fire a lot, so that, that's definitely my second favorite, but I love Prisoner of Azkaban. That's still my favorite. 100%. I mean, this one was still really good, like everything, like everything, yeah. the fights, everything was so good. Shit. Um, fights in this movie, I will say the fights in this movie were the I best out the of the series ones, so yes. far. Like, like I, I don't know. I, I don't know it's what it is, man. It's the first time, it's the first time we've seen, um, we've seen him, like, actually, in a, like, fight, Dumbledore? You know? Yes. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, we haven't so seen good. it before. Oh, we've seen God. him do, like, a couple small things. We've seen him do that yeah. <laughs> clap <laughs> shit with the phoenix, but... God damn, Dumbledore's got some heat in him, man. He was like, for an old man, Voldemort is so, like, he's so gentle. You notice, like, he's so gentle with the way he uses his wand. He, like, twists it and stuff. And he, like, <laughs> he had the fingertip on him in the other movie. Like, oh, it's so crazy. Oh and then, God. oh, it, it, you know what else was crazy in this movie? I did not think that Harry's dad bullied Snape. I thought Snape was always, like, one of the smartest top dogs and shit. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that Harry's dad bullied him, it's not only is it sad, but it's like kind of kind of like a what the fuck moment because you wouldn't think Snape would have been bullied as a and, kid. And then like it had to be his dad. I know, like, like of course. And, and now Snape kind of has to help Harry. You know what I mean? So like he can hate him, but he has to help him because, you know, this whole Voldemort situation is kind of like past everyone's personal issues, you know? So I know it's got to be hard for Snape to like not completely... Not completely just say fuck you to Harry, you know what I mean? Like I'm not sure if they're... I mean I do get it, like do get it why he doesn't like him now because like because his dad, you know, I I, I get it, you know, I don't know. I'm assuming his dad never resolved the issue before he died or apologized or anything like that. But I mean, it, it's kind of fucked up. But it was dope to see like a young Snape, you know. It was dope to see Harry Potter look into his into his memories and stuff. I I liked a lot of stuff about this movie. It was. It was good, but it's sad, man. I, I I think this was filmed in 2007. And I think the Batman, I think Batman The Dark Knight um, came out in 2008. And I know the actor who played Sirius Black was in that. So maybe that's why he left or maybe I don't, I, I have no idea, but I, I'm sad he did leave. I'm sad he's dead if he is actually dead. Um, we still have a couple other characters we could see in future movies. You know, we still got Lupin, we still got Moody, and we still got all our base characters coming out. Um, I will say I'm surprised Ron's brothers weren't there at the end. You know, I thought they would be there too because they were doing the training and stuff, but mm -hmm. I guess it was kind of more... I thought everybody was going to be there. Yeah. I, I guess it was kind of more focused on, um, Ron, uh, on the youngest in the main group. You know what I mean? Because you had Harry, Hermione, and Ron. Then you had Ron's sister... Then you had Neville, and then you had uh, the new girl they introduced this movie. Still didn't get her name, but yeah. And then Hagrid did disappear. He didn't come back the rest of the movie. Mm -hmm. We didn't even see him. He was saying, I think I'm going to get the boot, but we never seen a scene where he got the boot, and we never seen him leave. So I'm not sure what's going on with that either. The giant never came into play again after he kind of picked up the teacher and then set her back down, you know, um... And then they were saying, they said at the end that obviously Dumbledore is back in power at the school, but they never said what happened to that teacher because she got taken away by the centaurs. So I was assuming she died, but they had her in the paper at the end with a picture of her saying that, you know, Dumbledore is back in power. So I don't know what happened with her. I don't know if that giant is still just roaming around the forest. I don't know where Hagrid went. A lot of unanswered questions, but I'm excited for the next movie still. Let us know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also if you enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Full reaction is up on Patreon as well as early access to other stuff that we are doing. Link in the description down below. We hope you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one.